And here we have a little bit of drama, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Iga Swiatek hits a rocket, a cannon, heat-seeking missile, straight laser beam forehand down the line, ladies and gentlemen. It was a winner. However, Elena Rabikina would make Pierre get off of the umpire's chair and come down and reinforce the mark that everybody saw, the millions of fans watching around the world and the couple hundred fans in the stadium. Listen, I am appalled. I am upset. Why are we putting Igas Fiontech after Casper? I said it time and time again. Casper had that stadium packed, ladies and gentlemen. Listen. Iga and Elena Rabikina should have played before Casper when the stadium was nearly packed. However, I appreciate the fans that are here. It's raining, and look, it's a pretty decent-sized crowd, but this is a primetime match. This is the championship right here being played right now. This match right here is pay-per-view worthy. This is the new rivalry in tennis. Now, uh, Sabalenka, Iga, Sabalenka, Rabikina... I would definitely say this is probably the biggest rivalry right now that we have in women's tennis, but the ball's in. Now, is, is Elena Rabikin a poor sport? Now, this is where she's got to show her mental toughness, her cool, calm demeanor that she's displayed her entire career, except when she told her coach to shut up. She's not telling him to shut up today. She's asking for advice, and she needs it, ladies and gentlemen. But this is a situation that could have put her up 15-40 on Iga's fiance serve, but the reality here is this ball was in. There's no way this ball was out. It was in, and look, I I thought she argued a little bit too much. She got back on the line. She lost her focus, and Iga would go on and win this service game in old, but this is not good, Elena. You have to keep your cool. This ball was in. You can clearly see the spot there. It's, it's, look. Now, the men, on the other hand, look, I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, the men, they, I mean, what, why are the women getting these, this lack of resources? I mean, the men, they got the Hawkeye. They got everything going on. I mean, we're still using whatever. I don't want to listen. This is a great match right now, but Elena's going to have to keep her cool. She's going to have to stay focused. She cannot have another outburst like that, or this match is going to be over. Iga's fiance is just styling and, styling and profiling. You think she was on Jabor today, and she is pumped up. When have you ever seen Iga's fiance so fired up like this? Jordan fist pumps after every, listen, her serve. We had a conversation the other day, and I told you guys that I think Iga's fiance holds back on her serve. I think she could serve a lot more stronger and faster today, 115 miles hour she just was holding on to it to bring it out and show elena rabikina that she can serve a lot stronger and faster i just think with her strategic serve placement she takes a little bit of kick and power off of it but hey it works Ika. it's your world 82 wins out of the last 84 clay matches when she wins the first set elena rabikina is in trouble